Next, we have example A. Example A says, for the quadratic function shown in the graph, write the equation in standard form. Step one, identify the vertex. Choose another point on the graph. Substitute the known values. Solve for A. Write the equation of the function by substituting the values of A, H, and K. Multiply and combine like terms to write the equation in standard form. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples. Okay. I'm going to write these on another piece of paper just so I have room. So again, these are try these A. Question A. Step one says identify your vertex. In this case, my vertex is negative two, negative two. Step two, choose another point. Well, that's easy. They gave me another one labeled at negative one, one. Step three. Substitute. These are HK. This is XY. The equation is Y equals A X minus H to the second power plus K. So we're going to substitute what we know in. We've got 1 equals A. We've got negative 1 minus a negative 2 squared plus a negative 2. Step 4. Solve for A. So we have 1 equals A. Remember this is like a broken plus. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1 squared minus 2. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Well, we know that 1 squared is 1, so this is just going to be A minus 2. We're going to have to add 2 to both sides, so we get 3 equal to A. Step 5. Substitute. This time for H, K, and A. So we've got Y equals 3, X minus, no, sorry, we're going to say X plus. We're going to go ahead and make that a plus, minus 2. Because remember, this is Y equals A x minus h squared plus k. Step six, 
says to multiply and combine like terms. Okay, so we've got y equals 3 x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 2. We've got y equals 3x squared plus 12x plus 12 minus 2. Lastly, we've got y equals 3x squared plus 12x plus 10. All right, my final answer here would have been this line right here. y equals 3x squared plus 12x plus 10. Oops, sorry. Let's go ahead and take a look at B. Step 1, we've got 1 comma 2. So again, remember that's H and K. Step two was to identify another point and call it X, Y. Uh, looks like there's another point located right there at 4, 4. So we'll use that one. So that's X, Y. Step three. Substitute. So we will have we're going to have four equals a parentheses x minus one squared plus 4, and that shouldn't be x, that should be, uh, okay, sorry, I messed up. Remember our x and our y were 4 and 4. And this should have been the 2 for k. Okay. Step 4 says solve for a. So we've got 4 equals a times 3 squared plus 2. That's going to be 4 equals 9 times a plus 2. That's going to be a subtraction. So it's going to be 2 equals 9a. So that's going to be 2 over 9 equals a. No. Yeah. All right. We have a slight error. If I go back to the graph, I labeled that point as 4, 4, but that point is 3, 4, which whenever I looked at my numbers, Threw my data off a little bit. So we need to go back and make that edit real quick. So it's going to be 3, 4. So whenever I change that and make that change, over here, that's going to make this 3, 4. So my x is now 3. So I can erase this one. Which makes this in parentheses 2.
So we got 2 squared, which is no longer 9, it is 4. When we subtract 2, we get 4, uh, sorry, 2 equals 4a. And 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. Sorry about all those changes we had to make there. I wish I would have caught that earlier. Okay, step five. Step five says substitute k, x, and a into this equation right here. So we'll have y equals my a is going to be one half. My h is going to be, in this case, negative 1, so well, minus 1. And then my k is plus 2. Step 6 says multiply and combine all your like terms. So we're going to say y equals 1 half x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 2. This is going to go to y equals half of x squared is 1 half x squared. Half of 2 is 1, so that's going to be minus x. Half of 1 is half. And we're going to add 2 to that. When we combine like terms, our equation is now going to say 1 half x squared minus x and 2 plus a half is 5 halves or 2 and a half whole. So my final equation here is going to be y equals 1 half x squared minus x plus 5 halves. I want you to take a moment to get this copied over. On the next slide you're going to see a little um, drag and drop to put the steps in the correct order. Good luck.